September 16, 2015 interview with Cassie Line <laughs> here in Carlisle at the Cumberland County Historical Society. Cassie has graciously agreed to share some of her memories with us. So, um, and, and you've agreed to sign the consent form. That's mm -hmm. fine with you? Right? Absolutely. Okay, great. <coughs> and um, why don't we start with you sharing with us when you, when you were born and where you were born. Oh, okay. Well, <coughs> I was born at home, and my home was, some people called it Greystone, others called it Cheer Hill. Uh, it was on Orange Street, uh, a big gray stone house. And uh, I lived there until I was, I believe, eight. Uh, my brother, I had three brothers, but yeah, they were all, when I was born, they were all still home. Uh, were you the oldest? No, I was the youngest oh. and the only girl. That's why I was spoiled. <laughs> 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 but my brother took me to the Franklin Building the first day of school on his bicycle. <laughs> I don't believe we even had bus service in those days to take the kids to school. So the Franklin and building is where the Franklin where Recreation the, Center is now yes, uh -huh. on Franklin Street. And Well, no, no, the Franklin building was on uh, West and uh, Walnut Street. Oh. Um, I don't know where... Franklin came in. Western Walnut. Is that where the YMCA is Yeah, where is the now? YMCA is okay. now. So, and your um, your home, was that on the other side of High Street? Yes. You had to the, go under the subway. Under the subway, and mm -hmm. then it's up on a hill. Uh, uh, yes. It just, I did have dad's, well, a girl used my home as her senior uh, oh. thesis or paper yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I do I did have that it uh, we had the home and then a big stone barn it was uh, I guess it was used as a garage when I uh, lived there <clears throat> But Dad was also born in that house. Oh. See, his grandfather built it. Was was it a farm at one time? No. Okay. No, it was never a farm. My grandmother uh, was told she could not have children, and she had ten. <laughs> wow. So they kept busy, <clears throat> and it was, and we had ponies, uh, so. Up until a few years ago, when so many people have left us, mm -hmm. people would say to me, oh, I spent my youth at your home. I had such fun. We mm -hmm. had played cowboys and Indians and had real ponies. Wow. And uh, so it, it was a fun place. Now, mm -hmm. I didn't have girlfriends. See, I was all alone up there. Now, I had a friend on Lother Street, a Sunday school friend, and uh, I remember once going down to her house, we picked flowers or something. But uh, I, so Dad lost uh, the house uh, in the Depression, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> I was tickled to pieces. We moved down to Pomfret Street, okay. and it was wonderful. When you'd go out front, there was always kids to play with. Was it on West Pomfret West Street? West Pomfret, 236. Oh, yes, okay. Actually, my grandmother built uh, those four houses. My great-grandmother, I'm sorry. Okay. 
there were four houses in a row that she built, and I, I don't know for sure, but it seemed to me it cost her four thousand dollars. <laughs> and those houses are still standing. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Brick and mm -hmm. uh, so we. Uh, and did you continued to go to the Franklin School. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. But see, I could walk from could, there. Right. And. Uh, how did you get to school before that when you lived at the Grace Town? You know, I just rem I guess Dad must have taken me because mm -hmm. I only remember the first day riding on the back of mm -hmm. Don's bicycle. Wow. <laughs> and uh, so I suppose Dad had to, or, or Mother drove too. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know how I got there. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, and you and your church, what was the church? Uh, the uh, I was First Lutheran. First Lutheran. Yes, I tell my minister now um, that I was uh, a Lutheran for oh, 75 years, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, but when we moved to, to Naples uh, six months out of the year. And uh, in Naples, I had heard the Presbyterian minister was so wonderful. <laughs> so I started to go there. Mm -hmm. And then I thought when I came back to Carlisle, when I'm liking <laughs> the Presbyterian service so much, why go back to the Lutheran? Mm -hmm. So I, Grazie, I ate something with coconut this morning. Oh, yum. <laughs> uh, I, uh, joined the, uh, uh, Presbyterian Church then. In Carlisle? Yes, in, in Second Press. Oh, Second Press, mm -hmm. okay. On Garland Drive. <laughs> and was it on Garland at that time? Yes, or? it was okay. when, when I joined. Right, okay. And uh, Jeff Gabilius is the minister, and Jennifer, uh, uh, Jennifer was... Uh, See, I don't have a brain anymore. You're doing great. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. But you're you're with remembering names. a lot of uh, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of fond memories, it seems. Yes, yes, I do. Up. I had a wonderful childhood. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have a whole lot of money then. I mm -hmm. guess earlier we were pretty well off because mother had a nursemaid mm -hmm. i remember her driving me down to moorland park uh, so i could see the deer oh I've they heard had that. uh yeah. fenced in area and they had deer in there mm -hmm. but uh yeah. i that was right near dr whitcomb's office uh, right the moorland park was Dr. Wickham, did he have his office on West Street at at that time when you mm. were young? Did you, know, you ever go to Dr. Wickham? No. Okay. But it seemed to me he lived near me after I was married. Mm, maybe. Uh, yeah. Mm hmm That could have been. But I knew him quite well. Did you? Yeah. He but, was a volunteer here who was very faithful uh, to us. He Luther. Would, Luther Whitcomb. Mm -hmm. He came every Friday uh, and was a docent uh, and sat at the front desk when, you know, when we had the old setup. Uh -huh. And he and, um, and um, Mr. Fowler uh -huh. would reminisce and uh -huh. share their stories. So. <laughs> which Fowler? Ah, uh, which Fowler? George? George. Mm -hmm. George Fowler, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, the two of them together were oh. really fun to oh, listen to. Oh, I bet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This grandmother that I s said, uh, great grandmother, I can, mm -hmm. uh, the, the one that built the four houses on Pomfret Street, mm -hmm. uh, Nana, my grandmother, grew up in Pine Grove. 
Really? Yes. Her father was the engineer on the railroad between Gettysburg and I don't know if it extended past Carlisle or not. But mm -hmm. then he was killed. Oh. And uh, so she, of course, needed income. And mm -hmm. she came in and she opened a an eating place, I don't know if you'd call it a restaurant or not, where when I was young, Hartzell's Electrical Store stood on Pomfret Street. Okay, I'm not uh, sure. Was that on West? West Pomfret, Pomfret? Mm -hmm, the first block. Hmm. And there's, I think now there's, there are lawyers in there. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, she opened and sold a lot of oysters. Bill Hartzell told me when he, they were rebuilding the house, he said the backyard was just nothing but oyster shells. Wow. <laughs> so did she have, did, was it a restaurant where you went in and sat down? And I think ate? so. Okay. I think so. And and um, were Hartzell's, Hartzell, what did you say Hartzell's? Electrical store. Electrical store. Now, is that um, the same family as Dr. Hartzell, the optometrist? Uh, no, I don't okay. believe. Uh, let's see. Because you said Bill Hartzell. Yeah. His father was... I think his father was an electrician okay. also. Right. Uh, so she was able to uh, support the family. Yes. Uh -huh. Is this now? This is your great grand great grandmother. And so, and is she the one who had the ten children? No, no, no that's dad's that's mother. the other side. Yeah, the other. So side. So that would be the line side. No, no, that's Shearer. Shearer. Uh -huh. Her name was Shearer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And and um, your great grandma, what was her name? The one who built the houses on Pomfret oh. Street, whose husband? Well, her her last name was Small. Oh, okay. that's all I know. And it was Mr. Small who died. Who was yes. killed? Yes. Yeah. Was he killed on the railroad? Uh, on the railroad. In yeah. An, was it an accident? He must have been thrown. Oh. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> but mm. the other side. Now, did you know him, Cassie? No. Okay. No. But you knew your great grandma. No. Did you ever meet her? No. I never knew her. Okay. Uh, but my grandmother mm -hmm. uh, was one of my favorite people in this world. And you called her Nana. Nana, and I see she. We moved in with her when Dad lost uh, the house, yeah. and uh, she was wonderful. Uh, my brothers lived on the third, no, no, I think Dawn and I actually shared a room, mm -hmm. my youngest brother, and the other two boys <laughs> lived on the attic. I mean, their bedroom mm -hmm. was on the third floor. Hmm. But, uh, and and I have nothing but good memories. Mm -hmm. And uh, you didn't have to change schools. No, no. So you kept your, your same right. friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And uh, if we had ten cents, we Lockwoods had a little store down on the corner of South Pitt and uh, South. Uh -huh. And we'd go down there and get uh, an ice cream cone. <laughs> oh, wow. We could walk. Um, my godmother was Pat Mulgrew. Pat Mulgrew? Yes, she's my godmother. Uh, my brother was engaged to Mary Virginia. Oh, her when sister. When she died. Oh. She, and she died so young. Yes, yeah, she was so young. You knew how she died. No, I don't. Oh, she uh, was a, a wonderful RN, uh, the head RN at Carlisle Hospital. 
and uh, now Virginia, get it, get it straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, she got tuberculosis. Oh. And uh, had to go to Mount Alto because I, I remember Do Robert was in the army by then, my okay. brother. And, uh, but mother and some of us went up to Mount Alto to visit uh, Mary Virginia. We just oh. loved her. And uh, she, uh, they had given her the wrong blood. This wonderful nurse oh. that was so smart, huh. and they gave her the wrong blood, I, wow. and uh, of course it killed her. Yeah, that's so sad. I I Is thought Pat I, living? No, Pat passed oh. away mm, maybe four years ago. Oh. Yeah, about four years ago. Uh -huh. She had Parkinson's uh -huh. disease. And, That's um, too bad. She was a nice girl, too. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I, I thought of her when you mentioned the where the Lockwood store was, because uh -huh. I know that her grandpa had a bakery, oh. Mulgrew's Bakery, which was would have been near there. Yeah, or, on the other corner. It was on the other corner? Uh -huh. So do you remember Mulgrew's Bakery? Uh, I, I mean, I was never, that before your time? Uh, I never went there, mm -hmm. but I knew there was a bakery over there. Okay, yeah. Because uh, that wouldn't have been that far from you. No, In no. fact, Pat lived on West Pomfret Street before she went mm -hmm. into the Todd home. Oh, yes. And, and so that, you know, she lived at, I think... She one. was in the 100 block. Yes, of and you, West you're Palmer. talking about the 200, 200 block. block. Right, so you were between college and yes, West Street. Yes, right. Okay, right. That's okay. I know that block. Oh, how so were the, the say those houses that that have the front porches on them? Yes. And the steps going up to the front porches? Yeah, just little yeah. narrow yes, porches. Yes, yes. Uh, and we I had know those houses. Let's see, some of them had railings and some didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I knew everybody that lived in all of them. Well, the first day I moved downtown, as I said, I guess Dad was sad and maybe the, my brother brought one pony along and kept it in the garage. Behind the, <laughs> behind the, the alley, house. behind uh -huh. the house. And, uh, but, I was so thrilled to be downtown, mm -hmm. and I swept the sidewalk from our house up to College Street. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I hadn't thought of that for so a long time. So you must time. have been kind of a social animal. Huh? Is <laughs> yeah. that why you swept the sidewalk right. so you could well, see your friends? Yeah, I see. I just I hardly had any friends when we right. lived up on the hill, mm -hmm. and uh, so I was really tickled to be down. <laughs> now, who were some of your friends? Um, are any of them still living and still in the area? <sighs> Gay Fry is living. Gay lived on the corner of uh, Palm Fruit and West. No kidding. Uh -huh. I know Gay Fry. You know Gay? I sure the do. The egg lady. <laughs> yes. I sure well, do. Well, and I, of course, went to first grade together. Wow. Uh, Jimmy Scott uh, and I went to first grade together. Oh. Uh, and I went to his funeral recently. Yeah, he, we lost him recently. Yes, and uh, well, Bob Fry... Mm -hmm. uh, who's no relation to gay. Right. Bob and I went to first grade together. Uh -huh. And when I say that meant the whole 12 years. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. So you all kind of moved through the yes, grades together. Uh -huh. And and gay was very close in the neighborhood. When we first moved to Carlisle, we lived in Dr. Whitcomb's office, uh -huh. which would have been in that same neighborhood. Oh, yes. So my right. children learned how to ride their bicycles 
in that church parking lot, that oh, Methodist oh, in Grace yes. Methodist parking yes. lot. Uh-huh. So you know that was that was in that general area too. My re- recollection of that church is when it was taffy apple time. <laughs> we we'd go to that church and buy a taffy apple. Mm. <laughs> that is if we had 10 cents. <laughs> 10 cents. Mm. What else could you buy with 10 cents? <laughs> well, I believe you could go to the movie. Really? I believe. Uh, and you could have easily walked to the movie from uh, your house. Yeah. Dad took me to my first movie. It was where your parking lot is. Now it was called the Orpheum, I believe. Right. And we saw Betty Boop. Now, I can't remember. I'll look at a friend and won't be able to say her name. But, but you can remember. Going back to the, that would have been in the 30s, mm-hmm. the early 30s, I guess. Yeah. We went to see Betty Boop. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's great fun. So, and you mentioned Marge Dutry before. Was she one of your school well, friends? Well, uh, we met Marge in seventh grade. Okay. And okay. became close friends from oh. then on. Uh, so. And um, I guess I'm trying to think, Pat would have been... Pat, Pat was a little older. Okay, right. Uh, maybe, maybe two years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, because she talked a lot about playing on South Street, uh, on West South Street in the neighborhood where our our we have a house that was the um, I think it was the Wolf House mm-hmm. next to Barney Goulden. I bet you knew uh, Barney. Oh, Did you know sure. Barney? Oh sure. Because <laughs> his father was, I believe. The superintendent. Mm, that's in, on the first block. Right, in the first block of South, um, down by Hanover Street. I'll tell yeah. you a story about Barney Gould. You can. He's, you know, he passed away, too. So yes. Totally safe. He'll never find out. I don't out. miss him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, John Landis is a close friend of mine, mm-hmm. and she had a party and included Barney. Mm-hmm. The Landises and Barney both had cottages at Laurel, you know. Right. And uh, so I hadn't seen him for a long time. So I went over and I said, Hi, Barney, it's nice to see you. And he, Who are you? <laughs> I said, I'm Cassie Line. Oh, uh, he said, you used to be the prettiest girl in town, but I never would have known you. <laughs> oh, Cassie. <laughs> I told Donna, if, if you have more parties, invite Barney, don't invite me. <laughs> <laughs> he really was an upstart. Oh, he, he was, was something else. <laughs> oh, he, he used to tease. I have two daughters. Mm. And, you know, when they were little girls, he used to tease them uh. mercilessly. <laughs> they stayed far away from him. Uh. Yeah, he did. But, but, you know, his mother, Mrs. Golden, lived to be 106. Is that right? In that house. Oh, she was in that house. Goodness. And that was right next door to our house. Uh-huh. Down on you were, uh, were you towards... Well, Aunt Mary and Uncle Glenn Todd lived, had that apartment building okay. on your corner. Right. And right. they lived uh, in an apartment on the first floor. <clears throat> I, and so they lived right in those apartment buildings. Mm-hmm. And that was at the other end of the corner. Yes. And it was be- Caddy Corner from Lockwood. Okay, and from Mulgrew's Bakery. Oh, yes. And then right. coming down the street, there are those four attached houses with the big porches in front. Oh. Pat Mulgrew's dad built those houses. Oh. And they lived in one of those houses at one time. Oh. So she used to play in that neighborhood, oh. which would have been. You know, a little bit more downscale from where mm-hmm. your neighborhood was up further <laughs> west, yeah. I guess. Isn't so, that something? <laughs> yeah, so she talked a lot about the 
the plays that they would put on mm. oh, yeah. in the shed. And um, <laughs> Pearson Miller also spent a lot of time playing on the other side of the street in the alley behind uh, going towards What's now the Burr Yes, building. yes, right uh, there. Yeah, <laughs> now he would have been a lot older than you, I guess, right? Yes, yes, he, he was a lot older. Mm -hmm. I knew PK, we called him. Right. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how, well, I guess I knew him. I believe he was a first Lutheran. Mm -hmm. uh, so I kind of knew him from church. Okay. And uh, then he was a realtor, I believe, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Had an office. Right, right across here, here right. Yeah. The building where we have our shop. Oh, um, yeah. Is, I is where he had his office. Mm -hmm. And we just opened a new education center uh -huh. in the part of the building that would have been, I guess, I don't know if what that was. Well, I guess it was several different businesses, uh -huh. but it's all part of his uh, building there. The chocolate shop was next to PK's oh, office. Oh, it was a chocolate shop. Yeah, and my Aunt Mary Todd and another lady who lived across the street on Pomford Street, Mary, she was never married. Uh, can't say her last name. But they owned a chocolate shop together. And it, we went every day that we had 10 cents after school, we would go to the chocolate shop. And it, it was a little narrow building. Mm -hmm. But uh, they the first booze were usually uh, some of the elite ladies in Carlisle. Okay. And then the back was and a lot of college kids went there. I remember seeing the girl who came became my sister-in-law because she was so unusual and pretty. Uh -huh. And uh, so that was, and then next to that was the pool room. Oh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. My husband used to, when he worked, he would take his lunch hour, and I said he spent 50 minutes at the pool room, and then <laughs> 10 minutes at the little restaurant <laughs> off the square. <laughs> Where did he work? He was, uh, well, he was half of line and line originally, oh. and the, they, at some point, he said, we can't both stay here and his brother said well it won't be me <laughs> so Jim left okay. and Henry Stewart got him a job of uh, uh, fulfilling the uh, last part of the tax collector job uh -huh. the tax collector had was I believe in jail maybe and oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Jim got got his job, and then he ran a couple of times. Mm -hmm. uh, he was so popular the last time the Democrats didn't even put anybody up oh. opposing him. Really? Uh -huh. But he was Republican. He was Republican. Mm -hmm. So was he the tax collector? Mm -hmm. Okay. For many years. Oh wow. Uh, and. Uh, so, and speaking of jail, I remember you mentioning a story. <laughs> My grandmother. About your grandmother, <laughs> that she was born in jail. Yes, that's the same grandmother that had the ten children. Okay. <laughs> and lived on the hill. And her name was Jenny Rippey. Jenny Rippey. Shearer. Shearer. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when she was Jenny Rippey, she was born yes. in jail? Yes. See, her father was, from, they were from Shippensburg, okay. and he was sheriff. 
And in those days, the sheriffs resided in the jail. Uh, even up to when I was in senior high school, one of our friends, uh, her father was sheriff, and they lived in jail. He was Brett's, B-R-E-T-Z. I can't think of his first name. But because uh, we would visit her and peep in the door to the prisoners, you what, know. Was that at Cumberland County? Mm -hmm. The big mm -hmm. jail? Yeah. The big old jail? Yeah. Wow. So you would go there to uh, visit them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. And so now when I come up that street, especially if my son's in the car, I'll say, did I ever tell you? And he'll say, yes, you <laughs> told me. <laughs> But the other day, there was a new friend in the car, and so I tried it again. Did I ever tell you my grandmother was born in jail? <laughs> and it, people want, what are the particulars? <laughs> and my son said, well, it's better than dying in jail. <laughs> oh, wow. Boy, if you could know who the colorful people might have been in that, in that jail. How long, how long did they live there? Uh, well, I think the term was four years. Okay. And I have no idea if he had more than one term. It was an elected position, mm -hmm. the sheriff. But uh, wow. she, uh, and let me see, she... She had like a sister. I don't think she ever had a brother. So there might have just been these two girls, and but she happened to have been born in no kidding. The jail. <laughs> now, did you work? Were you, did you have a job? When well, you... when I got out of high school, mm -hmm. Dad said, I can afford to send you to Dickinson, mm -hmm. but I can't send you away to college. Okay. Well, I wasn't interested in education. Uh -huh. I wanted to live in a sorority house. You know? <laughs> so instead, I went to commercial college. Okay. I first took the bus down at the courthouse and went to Harrisburg. Mm -hmm. And then at some point, I came back and went to the Carlisle Commercial College. Now, where which, was that? Well, that was on the corner of Pitt and uh, uh, North Hanover, I mean, uh, West High. It's across from the Hamilton restaurant. Oh. Uh, it was on the second floor, as I recall. And that was called Thompson's Business oh, School. The, okay. <laughs> was it above the bookshop? Was uh, there a bookshop below it? I don't remember what Which was corner? Below. Was that the, the... Right across from the Hamilton restaurant. Directly across. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, where the, there's a candy store there now. Mm, yes. That building is still there, though. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a big space above there because there was a dance studio there when uh -huh. my girls were little. Uh -huh. Well, that was... So I, you, that, and you lived at home. Yes, I lived so at home. So that was really close to home, too. Yes, and uh, so I was in a chocolate shop one day, and... Uh, Jim, uh, my husband, used to go in the chocolate shop when he could. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and uh, he said they were looking for a secretary for the store they were opening. Well, okay. one of my friends was a waitress, and uh, she said, well, I can uh, give you the name of somebody. And so he or Henry, I'm not sure one of them, came up to the house. And uh, my brother had been in, my eldest brother had been in Jim's high school class. Okay. So we all knew Jim. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, they said that they were looking for a secretary. And uh, would I consider joining there? And I said, sure. I made twenty two fifty a week, I remember. Oh. And the first week, 
I went to J.C. Penney for something the first week that I was paid. Okay. And lost my twenty two fifty. You lost the check? Yeah. Was it a check or cash? Well, it must have been cash. Right. Yeah. Uh, I probably asked for cash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they said they pity me almost for gonna pay me again, but they didn't. Oh. <laughs> so I worked for them when we moved into this building. The one that, I, that yeah, they're renovating now. I was still uh, with them. And okay. uh, then my son was born in... Uh, well, at some point you married one of them then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I had been dating another young man, and we, everybody expected us to be married. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I went to work one day, and Jim said, oh, how are you and your boyfriend making out? And I said, well, we're not going to see each other for a week. I said, we argue so much. <laughs> we thought maybe if we took a week away. He said, well, then how about going out for dinner with me? And I said, oh, okay. Oh, my <laughs> I went home, and Mother had made potato salad, which I loved. And I thought, oh, I wish I could call him and tell him I don't oh. want to go out. But I couldn't. And he proposed that night. No. Yeah. And I... Were you surprised? Yes. But I said yes. Right then and there? Right then. We sat in front of my mother's house for I don't know how many hours that uh -huh. night. Uh, we came home from dinner and uh, went up to Laurel to, maybe it was Jim's brother, I don't know. Somebody was at Laurel that Jim wanted to tell. Oh. <laughs> and uh, we came back and sat. And Mother was not real surprised because uh, she said I talked about him oh. all the time. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So then... How long was the engagement before you got married? Well, uh, that was world. Uh, that was Carlisle Fair week, which mm -hmm. would probably have been in August, mm -hmm. and we were married the second of September. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, Within I said a month, it was I... it was a miracle because, you know, I, except by working with him, you know, eight yes. hours a day, yes, yes. I I knew him you pretty sure well. Did. I'm and you sorry. didn't argue with him? No, no. <laughs> he, he was entirely different. <laughs> was your boyfriend heartbroken? I think so. Mm. Uh, and I've always had a little regret, mm -hmm. but I, did, I don't know how you could have done it any no. other way. Right. We had a date to go to the movie on Friday, okay. pre, you know, set up previously. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see one thing in that movie. All I thought about is when oh. we got out of there, what I'd tell him. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I know he, he was devastated. And I always said I would have been too had yeah. it been the reverse yeah, yeah. but uh, it must have been a hard we thing. had let's see we were married in 47 okay and Jim died in 2000 that mm. would be 53 yeah. or 63 I believe mm -hmm. yeah 53 mm -hmm. 53 well when did he die? In two 2000. Okay, right. That'd be 53 years. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We, uh... And you had a son. Yes, just one son. Oh. I had a baby first mm -hmm. who didn't live. Uh, Jim, mm -hmm. I had rapid toxemia. Oh. And so I wasn't aware of anything going on yeah. and but he had to have a funeral because she lived 
36 hours, I okay. believe. Right. But she only weighed, uh, I don't know, a pound something. Oh, my goodness. And uh, then my son only weighed 37. Whoa. <laughs> that was in you know, yeah, that would how long? And ago? they didn't have oxygen in the delivery room in those days. <laughs> was that at at the uh, Carlisle yes. Hospital? Yes. Mm-hmm. And when it was up on uh, yeah, in my alley. <laughs> in your okay, in your alley. That's yeah. where it was, uh-huh. up above Pomfret Street. Yes, uh, it it was uh, on uh, Parker. Parker oh, is, was that the building that became the Todd home? Oh, the, that building became all new the women? houses. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's not standing anymore. Because when I, it's just, it was down the alley from from mm-hmm. my house. So uh, when you married Mr. Line, uh-huh. did you set up housekeeping right away? Yes, and, but we lived with his mother for okay. five years. Mm-hmm. And where she was, was that? She was 517 North Hanover. Oh, okay, so and, you were on the other side of town. Yeah, but she was wonderful to live with. Oh. Uh, if we ever had a crossword, she would take my <laughs> side, you know. But uh, she was great, and she would fix meals if we decided after work we wanted to go to Deer Lodge or something. Mm-hmm. That was okay with her. She wow. just put the stuff away. <laughs> really? Oh, yes, yeah, she was great. And then when uh, Jeffy came along, mm-hmm. we had just two bedrooms upstairs in a big house. The front room we made into a living room. Oh, okay. And it was quite a walk down to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And so we decided we should look for our own house. And uh, so we bought at 550 Moreland Avenue. Okay. And uh, we paid 20500 I believe, we paid. What year was that? Uh, That was... uh, When your son was... 53. Oh, okay. So he's a couple years younger than I am. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now, does he live in this area? He's in Mississippi. Oh, that's right. I think yeah. you told me. Uh-huh. That's so far he's away. In a, that's right. Uh, it's not really a school, but it's for... Um, Performing arts for the handicapped. Yeah. Uh, Jeffy has, it's mostly a vision problem. Mm, okay. And I always felt probably it's because they didn't have oxygen in the delivery room. They right. had to go down the hall. So, and he get was, a, so he was, was he a premature baby? Oh, yeah. And three, that's why he was so tiny. Three, seven. Yes. I was it's almost amazing. full term. Really? With him, yes. Okay. With the first baby, it was six and a half months. Oh. But with Jeffy, I had gone uh, just a week or two from full term, mm-hmm. and uh, I was doctoring in Harrisburg at that time. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he uh, th- he had to stay in the hospital till he was over five pounds. Right, I know. And, how uh, long? How long did that take? Well. Maybe a couple months. Yeah, I would think. They said he was the most active preemie they ever oh, had. <laughs> gosh. That must have been hard, though. To yeah. Did you go back and forth then to the hospital? Oh, yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. that would be tough. So it must have been wonderful to bring him home. Yeah, oh, yeah. only I was scared to death. Well, sure. He had had a heart condition where he turned blue oh. in the hospital. And they said it was always at feeding time. Okay. So 
always have a light when you're feeding him. Right. <laughs> so I really didn't enjoy his yeah. early time because I was so scared. Right, and there were probably a lot of instructions. Mm -hmm. Yes, and of course he had they to don't eat usually come every with manuals. three hours, I yeah. believe. Yeah, yeah, sure. I always so did you had to have a bright light on. Did you stop working while you were yes, raising him? Yes, I did, him? Uh, mm -hmm. and I never went back full time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Marge's aunt babysat uh, for me so that I could go to work, nice. back to work. Marge, that's Marge. Dudley. But her, but her name, what was her name She then? was a Barrett. Barrett, mm -hmm. okay, right, okay. So, uh, and you've mentioned Aunt Mary Todd, so uh, um, you're, you're related to? She uh, married Glenn Todd. Okay. They went together forever, and then. And was she your mom's sister or your? No, your... Jim's father's sister. Oh, so you know Jim's you're related father, by marriage. Mary Todd and Mills and Kitzmiller. Oh yes. Those were three of Jim's. Oh, okay. Did you go to the program that Sandy Mater did about Yes. It? Oh, was that was wonderful. Yes, yeah. and I was so sorry I hadn't contacted my nieces and nephews that yeah. were around that here. Yeah, that was really uh, Because well. it was great. Yeah, people <laughs> love that. Well, I before we run out of time, I right. wanted to ask you about <laughs> the red convertible. Oh, <laughs> Well, that was our first car. When we uh, first married, we lived in Upper Holly. Uh, one of the, there are two, well, Aunt Millie's two daughters, Mae Riddlesberger and G. Floor, yeah. had houses out there. And then this, there were th about three little cottages across the road, and G agreed to rent us one of them. It was hard to find things in, you know, right after the war. Yeah. So uh, we lived there, and we'd have to get over and get the bus from Gettysburg into town every morning. Oh, really? And then get the, we'd go down to East High Street. There was a bus station. We'd okay. get the bus to go back because wow. we didn't have a car. Right. Now, this this was before you were living with your mother-in-law or after? Oh, after. After, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, we yes. didn't have Jeff yet, but okay. it was after. Right. And so we... Uh, so you Jim took the bus. ordered a car, and he came home and told me he had ordered a red convertible. In those days, all cars were black. Right. We would pull up to a traffic light, and people... <laughs> <laughs> so did you ride around with the top down? Oh, yes, a lot. Oh. And we... Uh, did you drive it, too? Oh, yes. It was regular... Here. You could drive. Because I said, do you mean to tell me if we go up the back road to Pine Grove, I don't have to do anything? And he said, no. Oh, it was an automatic? <laughs> yeah, automatic. Oh. We got it at Sailor Motors. Wow. And, uh, but we better talk about... Well, so you had the red convertible. Yes. And, and, and your dad was... Friends with uh, my grandfather and Pop Warner were close friends. Yeah, I want to know more about that. Uh -huh. I'm gonna. You're gonna have to come back. <laughs> Will you come back? Well, I guess I could. <laughs> okay, but yeah, tell tell me about the red convertible. And, well, um, and how the, how it happened that you were driving it in a parade. Yeah, I don't know who invited me. Probably because of my car, you know, mm -hmm. they invited me to drive, uh, and it was Jim and his son. Jim Thorpe. Thorpe. And Carl Thorpe. Yeah. And uh, so 
And I, they were in town for... For the opening of uh, the movie, Jim Thorpe, All-American. And... Uh, and, and the actress, Phyllis Thaxter, was uh, also at that premiere. Oh. Did you, re- did you meet her? Uh, I don't... I don't, don't remember. remember. But you... So... Jim Thorpe just came to your house, and you, or did you no, pick him I up? No, I picked him up. Um, uh, where was he staying? Uh, well, where I picked him up, I think, was uh, on, well, right, this alley. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, yeah, if you went straight up this alley... I can't think that used to be the Carlisle Deposit Bank. Okay. And now it's something else. Mm-hmm. Uh, that seems to me where I picked him up. Was that behind where the theater is now? Uh, and that at that bank. Down? Well, the the Episcopal Church is here. Oh, and okay. Then an alley. I know where it is. And then the bank right. was where on that... the other. Yeah, so that would be on uh, behind Hanover Street. Yeah, that first block of North Hanover Street uh-huh. behind St. John's. Uh-huh. That's where you picked him up. Yeah, <laughs> and then you drove him. Do you remember the parade route? No. Mm. <laughs> but I mean, were there people lining the streets? Oh yeah. I guess we have a picture of it, don't we? This picture. Yeah, you can see a lot of people yeah, lining the right. streets. Yeah. Uh. I, there was a picture uh, of that showed the car and me right. and then Jim and his son in the back seat. We'll have to dig that up. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll have to find that. I'm yeah. sure we can find it. Because uh, Freddie, Freddie had it, right? Freddie said, surely... Freddie uh, Wardecker. What's his name? <laughs> the man in here. Richard Tritt. Yeah, he yes. said, surely. Richard Tritt has yeah. a copy well, of Well, we that. haven't looked for that, so we'll, mm-hmm. we'll find that. That's <laughs> okay. a good idea. So mm-hmm. he got in the car behind the alley, and you drove him. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I guess I went down probably to a uh, pit mm-hmm. and then up, and probably ended up, oh, I probably turned right and came around, and then I guess I dropped him at the theater. Yeah, okay. Uh, but I, I, and it was just you and Jim in the car? And the son. And oh, and son. Carl. That's yeah. right. You said that. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> that, so Carl was probably close to your age at that time, I would think. I, I don't know. I, well, Jim would have been... He died in 1954. And that, mm-hmm. would have, that was in 1951. Mm-hmm. So, you know, he was... He was getting up in age or uh, fragility at that time. Yes. And I think Carl was kind of young. Mm. I, from the, the photos I've seen, yeah. like here's a picture. There's a picture of all of them at the monument oh. at the square. Oh. Was that part of that event? I have no you idea. Know that. Yeah. So your, grand, your grandpa was friends with Pop Warner. Yes. So that and they was... had a hunting dog together, oh. and they would keep it up at Dad's house. Where was that? Well, up the at house on the hill, yeah. Okay. And uh, then if Pop went south, which apparently he did some of the summers mm-hmm. uh, when school closed, he would take the dog with him and then bring it back, you know, and then he'd be up at the at the house. Oh wow! So you <laughs> did you see pictures of that dog, or did he tell? Did he talk about the dog? That's how you knew about it. No, mm-hmm. uh, he just talked. Oh, and that was Dad's first ride in an automobile. Well, I I think yeah. that Pop Warner had uh-huh. a Model T and Ford. Jim and Dad were in the back seat. Really? And, and Pop Warner and Grandfather wow. were in the front seat. And uh, so I think Dad was always proud of that. Mm-hmm. He was, Dad was athletic. He 
scrimmage, I think I did tell you, he yeah. went to Conway Hall and he said they scrimmaged against the Indians. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, well, there were Indian kids who went to Conway Hall, too. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it would have been the same time as your dad, as your grandpa. Because uh -huh. your grandpa went there, right? Yeah. Or, no, it no, was your my dad, dad. Your dad. My dad went And so, there. Was you, do you know when your dad was born? Uh, yes, he was born in 98. Okay. And mother was born at the turn of the century, okay. she always called it. Right. So if your dad was born in 98, then he would have been in Conway Hall probably around 1914, 15, 16, mm -hmm. during the school years. And mm -hmm. there were Carlisle Indian School students who were enrolled at Conway Hall mm -hmm. also. You know, they would go through a program at the Indian School, and then those who were kind of on a track mm -hmm. to go on to university mm -hmm. would go to that prep school, Conway Hall, mm -hmm. in between. Mm -hmm. So it's very possible well, that he had friends who were Indians. Yeah. Did you say your dad had a memoir? Or Dad had written when he started out, it was a snowy day. He lived above the tax office on Pomfret Street oh, yeah. at this okay. point. Okay. We had fixed up an apartment up there for Mother and Dad. Oh. And, uh, and Nana lived there, too. And uh, so he was sitting in the bay window, and right. he said, it's too cold to do anything else. I think I'll... My children have always wanted me to write down my memories oh. and uh, so I I don't know if I could have given it to Jeff Wood or not okay. but uh, and I had my aunt's memoirs too she was married to an, a military man and they lived out among the Indians uh, and I couldn't find that either. So they're somewhere together, I guess. Okay. So they, they lived at the Carlisle Barracks? Or no, uh, out uh, uh, in the west. Oh, out west. Yeah. Right, because he was the in the military. Of, sure. Uh, and hers was very interesting. Oh, I bet. I <laughs> bet. Um, well, it's getting, you know, I don't want to tire you out, but if you'd be willing to come back, maybe we can. Uh, talk a little bit more, but I think we'll stop now. Okay, that's and, fine. Um, thank you so much for oh, doing this. I, I'm wonderful. surprised. Uh, I <laughs> thought, oh, I was disappointed that I couldn't find anything more. It's so lovely that you have so many good memories oh, of I this do. community. I had a wonderful childhood. Mm -hmm. And you had such nice friends. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah. and I'm lucky I still have. Maybe. I have no relatives anymore. Right. With yeah. grandmother having ten children. You know, you I had a lot of cousins. Right, you would think. And uh, they're all gone. Yeah. Uh, the one cousin, the one that gave his banks to the oh, yes. historical society. Mm -hmm. um, we talked every couple weeks. He lived in California, oh. and uh, he was the last good friend cousin, uh -huh. and uh, and he's gone now. He was buried in Carlisle. Yeah. 